In this video, we are looking at this HyperGo 14th scale on-road kind of drift truck looking thing. We're gonna be taking this thing out of the box. We're gonna be doing test drives with it. I'm gonna give you a full review and overview of what this truck is all about and should you be looking at buying it. First step, let's get this thing out of the box. And look at everything that's included in here. Oh my gosh, so we have the truck itself. It actually comes with three total sets of wheels. We have the tires that are on it, which are kind of like a mixed use, like on slightly off-road tire. We have a more aggressive off-road tire, and then we have hard plastic drift tires. Three full sets of tires all included in the box. You got a charger. You have a 2S LiPo battery that works with that charger in there. A couple of small tools, extra body clips. We actually have some spare screws and springs, which it looks like may be alternates for some of the steering and suspension setup that are in the vehicle. You have your manual, which is a very nice manual actually. Works you through a lot of how to use the vehicle, but also has full assembly diagrams in the back plus part numbers, which is always really, really key because eventually something will break on these vehicles. It's nice to be able to have a guide here in the rear for what the part numbers are and how to get to them, how to replace everything. Really, really nice right there. And then of course we have our controller itself. Very basic controller here, honestly. Um, not a lot of a trim levels or anything else like that going on. But at the end of the day, honestly, for most folks, this is pretty much all you need. So let's get the body off and see what's underneath the hood of this truck. You need to be careful as you take the body off because the lights will be plugged in right here. They can actually be unplugged. You just gotta watch all the other wires that are right around it there. Make sure you don't pull on them too hard and then the body can come all the way off. Underneath here, I'm kind of surprised. Look at this, we actually have an inside body cover. So three more body pins and we actually have, what this ends up being is a dust and dirt shell. This style of body, as you can imagine, it covers the wheels a lot. And so as you're driving any rocks, grass, dirt, anything, it gets thrown up underneath the side, inside of this body and it comes down and it makes a horrible mess of your RC car, as it turns out. So this being on here, what that does is that helps eliminate a lot of that mess that may come from your car, you know, get in there helps keep your car clean. Now, honestly, I expect that most folks will probably not use this. You'll probably take it away and you won't want to put those three extra pins on and all that, but they do have the cutouts for it, for the motor and the ESC and to get to the electronics and everything. They, a lot of thought went into this and it's very nice of them to include it. Once we get underneath there, we're looking at oil filled shocks, which is awesome massive metal drive shafts on each corner those are cvds in the front and it looks like cvds in the rear we do have our brushless motor and our speed control and it does look like our speed control is not a two-in-one unit sometimes this receiver where all these wires are and that's what talks to the transmitter here the controller sometimes these two are made into one unit which means modification down the road may be harder the fact that these are two separate units is definitely a good thing the other thing that i'm noticing on here saw it on the box also as well is they this, the claimant has a gyro in here now honestly if you're doing drifting uh, then sometimes you have a gyro, but that's only for rear wheel drive vehicles. For an all wheel drive vehicle like this, you shouldn't need a gyro. Uh, the other kind of gyro that sometimes comes, if it's not a drift gyro, is it's one to help sure that you don't spin out as easily. With the brushless power, small as this vehicle is, I'm betting this is a more of a lane control, like direction controlling gyro that helps keep you from spinning out. But I don't know. We're going to have to go give it a shot and play around with some of the settings on it. Super big chassis support brace through here. Metal hex drive shaft in the middle. And we are looking at an aluminum chassis. I'll be honest. This is looking like a pretty solid piece of vehicle right here. This thing looks... I mean, everything that I'm seeing, very stout bumpers, both front and rear control arms maybe a little bit thin up here in these couple points but otherwise look very very beefy i mean i'm everything i'm seeing here so far is looking very very nice 
But let's get, I'm gonna get the battery charged up and we're gonna power it up and test some of the features here on the workbench before we head outside. I got batteries in the controller, I got a battery in the car. I noticed the power switch here is off 70%, 100%, so that's nice. So when you turn it on, you can actually turn it on to not full power, which is actually quite nice. I'm gonna push the button over here on the side. Everything fires up and we see the gyro also shows an indication. And then you can see here the gyro working. So if you watch the front tires, as I move the rear, you see the front tires are moving with it, trying to help steer into that skid so that you don't lose control as you're out there driving. And then here we can actually tell the difference in that speed. That's your 100%. That's your 70%. So even just that, you can actually hear the difference in how fast it's physically spinning. So that's nice. Depending on total power level, depending on the traction that you have, you may want to turn that down. And then the last remaining knob that we have here on the controller is steering trim. And then we have the function button, which should turn the lights on and off. Oh my gosh, look at this. this is, I finally fired it up with the batteries in. You know, lights up here, headlights, look at behind the grill here flashing. We have all of the tail lights on the back. That is awesome. And when we hit the function button, it goes to even wilder flashing. Check that out. Does it, oh, turn it off. On the rear flashing. And then if all of that is too much, I guess that just should be a like flashing warning for folks. Uh, if that is all too much you can hit the function button one more time and just turn the whole thing off but oh my gosh that is that is crazy i did not expect that level of led flashing craziness to be going on with this truck but i'll be honest i showed my kids and the first thing that they said was oh my gosh that's awesome so <laughs> if you're taking it for that they are loving it i have the standard tires on here steel so we're going to drive around here in my garage and outside a little bit with them first to get a feel for how they do and then we're going to swap over to the drift tires and give those a shot First impressions here in the garage with the rubber tires on. Oh my gosh, this thing is fast. Like it's almost, honestly, it's too fast and too, uh, too, it's got too much power, too much speed for even here in the garage. Slick floor combined with those rubber tires means that unless you're sliding it, you, the front tires won't actually grip very much and won't turn. Uh, I had me, I had both my boys drive it. Honestly, it was, it was a little bit of a struggle to drive it in this space. We then went outside in the front driveway, much higher grip and man, the speed and everything of this vehicle really came alive. So much better, so much more fun out there on that more grippy surface. So the vehicle felt really fast here in my garage, but when we get it out in the real world, how fast is it really? I have my SkyRC GNSS Performance Analyzer. We're gonna tape it to the back here battery is freshly charged all the way back up topped all the way off fully charged we're gonna go out and see up and down the street just how fast of a speed do we hit Ooh, that does feel pretty fast pulling just ever so slightly to the left definitely at full throttle No issues with range. Okay, moment of truth. 
Max speed 28 miles per hour. Pretty decent actually for 14 scale. We're gonna now swap over to the actual proper drift tires and give this a test back here in the garage again. How does it feel sliding around with them? Final thoughts of this HyperGo, this H14MK from M MGXRC. Pretty awesome, actually. I'll be honest, really kind of surprised me how good this was. For the fact that you can have this for well under $200, brushless, lithium battery included, three sets of tires included, all the LEDs and everything in there. It hits almost 30 miles an hour going down the road. And that was on 2S. I'm pretty sure, looking at the specs, pretty sure this thing will run on 3S. I bet we <laughs> get some noticeably higher speed on 3S. Um, driving around in general with the rubber tires, I think in a big parking lot and something like that could actually be a hoot. What my, what my boys and I actually talked about was like, what if we had three of these and we were like racing them around a parking lot? Like that would just be giggles for days. Like we would just have a blast with it. But then I swapped the drift tires on it and honestly it did a lot better than I expected with the drift tires on it. It was a lot more controllable. The, the vehicle, the stance, everything that they got going on with it, the, the chassis is set up well enough that like I could actually get it around my, my drift track here in the garage, which is not very common, honestly, for all wheel drive cars, a tighter kind of space. They tend to struggle a little bit. Um, but what I really, really want to do with this car now is I really want to get it out to the skate park leave those drift tires on it take it to the skate park and they act just like skateboards and it's so much fun to drive around a skate park with a vehicle like this so be on the lookout for that i'm gonna we're gonna look and make sure for a good day in which not many people are out there but we're gonna look for a good day and we're gonna find a way to go do that so it looks like a blast if you are interested in anything did i leave anything out about this vehicle if you have any questions about it or anything feel free to dive down into the comments below post up and i will be happy to respond in any way that i can Otherwise, if there's other vehicles that you're looking for, if you realize that like on-road vehicle isn't necessarily really your thing, then you can come over here to your right. I will have a vehicle reviews playlist where you can go through a whole bunch of different sizes, scales, types, all this kind of stuff for different usages and find maybe the vehicle that's really right for you. So thank you for watching. Goodbye.